dear students we have explained the nature and scope of microeconomics in the previous class now we discuss the major themes in microeconomics as we have discussed earlier the most important problem of any economy is scarcity that is scarcity of resources compared to human wants so much of microeconomics is about limits limits arising from scarcity as an example you consider the case of a consumer consumer has only limited income to spend on goods and services you consider the case of a producer he has only a limited budget and technical know-how to produce goods and services you consider a worker a resource holder he has only a limited number of hours in a week to allocate between work and leisure so microeconomics is about limits that is the limited resources or scarcity of resources compared to human wants but microeconomics is also about ways to make the most of these limits ways to make the most of these limits stated differently microeconomics is concerned with the allocation of scarce resources allocation of scarce resources since resources are limited compared to human wants it is impossible to produce all the goods and services human beings want so there is a question of what to produce how to produce whom to produce etc so there is a question of how to allocate resources for the production of goods and services that is ways to make most of these limits how to optimize given the limits how to allocate resources optimally so as to satisfy maximum number of wants as an example in microeconomics theory in the theory of consumer behavior we will discuss how a consumer allocate his limited income to purchase various commodities in such a way as to maximize his utility that is the theory of consumer behavior microeconomics explains how a worker allocate his time between work and leisure optimally that is the theory of factor price the theory of distribution 
Similarly, in microeconomics we will study how a firm will allocate its limited budget to purchase various resources, capital and labor in such a way as to maximize output or to minimize cost. This is a topic which we will study under the heading theory of the firm. So the problem of allocation arising from scarcity of resources is a major theme in microeconomics. How the consumers allot his, allocate his limited resources, how a worker allocate his limited time, how a firm allocate its limited budget, etc. Since we cannot produce everything we want as there is scarcity of resources, as there is always a, what to say, there is always a problem of allocation. Every economic decision involves what is known as trade-offs. Due to limits, every economic decision involves trade-offs. In modern market economies, workers, firms and consumers have more flexibility when it uh, comes to allocation of resources. Allocation of resources is very important as we cannot produce all the goods and services we want. But in a modern market economy, there is considerable flexibility with respect to allocation because of the diversity of choices available to workers, firms and consumers. And microeconomics describes the trade-offs that the consumers, workers and the firms face. So microeconomics deals with the, the trade-offs faced by consumers, workers and the firms and shows how these trade-offs are best made or how the consumers, the workers and the firms make the optimal trade-offs. And making optimal trade-offs is a very major theme in microeconomics. So how to make trade-offs, how to make optimal trade-offs is a major theme in microeconomics. You consider the case of a consumer. Consumer has only a limited income. And using this limited income, he has to purchase many goods and services. Also, he cannot spend his entire income to purchase goods and services. He has to make a savings for the future. And consumer theory, a very important area of microeconomics, describes how consumers maximize well-being by trading off purchase of more of some commodities for less of others. There is a trade-off involved. He has to purchase more of one commodity at the expense of less of another commodity so as to maximize his well-being. So microeconomics deals with these trade-offs. Workers also face the trade-offs. A worker has only 24 hours a day, so he has to decide how
how many hours to work and how many hours of leisure should be enjoyed and it depends on the current market wage rate and also a host of other factors so as a worker he faced the trade off between work and leisure and also regarding the nature of employment a high pay with a low security or a low pay with a high security stability of income or whether to uh, spend his time for uh, working at present more education at present so that more income can be earned in the future like this so workers face the trade off in the choice of employment in the choice of work in the choice of education etc etc firms face the limits in terms of the type of goods and services they should produce and also the resources available to produce these goods and services so in a modern capitalist economy in a free enterprise economy every economic agent is faced with a trade off resulting from the limits the scarcity of resources the trade offs are faced by workers consumers and also the firms so trade off is a major theme in microeconomics the second major theme of microeconomics is the role of prices what is the role of prices in a free enterprise economy what is the role of prices in a free enterprise economy and the trade offs that we have discussed depends on the prices faced by consumers producers and the workers as an example consumers trade off beef for chicken based on prices of these two commodities given other things his preferences are important but given the preferences the trade off depends on price of chicken versus the price of beef a worker trade off between work and leisure depends on the wage rate higher the wage rate lower will be the number of hours of leisure taken and vice versa firms decides on the type of technology capital intensive or labor intensive depending on the price of capital relative to the price of labor so trade offs resulting from scarcity is faced by all economic agents all economic agents and the trade offs is based on prices of resources prices of resources as prices are very important as a determinant of trade offs microeconomics deals with how prices are determined our price determination is very important in microeconomics remember this in a free enterprise economy in a capitalist economy there is a price for every commodity and the sale and purchase is based on prices the decision to produce more of one commodity and less of another commodity is based on prices of the commodities the decision to purchase more labor or more capital depends on the price of capital relative to labor 
the decision to work more or take more leisure depends on the wage rates, the price of leisure. So microeconomics is concerned with how prices are determined. It's a topic which we will discuss in detail. In a planned capitalist, in a planned socialist economy, prices are determined by the government. Market has no role. And the question is, where these prices are determined? The prices are determined in the market. Prices are determined in the market. And prices are determined in the market by the interaction between consumers, business firms, and resource owners. So these interactions occur in the market. So the central role of market is the third major theme in microeconomics. So remember this, the three major themes of microeconomics one, trade-offs resulting from scarcity. Two, the role of prices. Trade-offs are determined by the prices. Three, markets. Prices are determined in the market. Prices are determined in the market. So these are the major themes. We will describe, we will explain markets in detail in a later class. We will also explain prices and its role in detail in a later class, even though we have mentioned price determination and its role briefly in the previous class. So these are the three major themes of microeconomics. And remember this, trade-offs results from the limits faced by economic agents as producers, as consumers, as resource owners. These limits arising from scarcity in relation to human wants. And the limits results in trade-offs. Trade-offs are based on prices and prices are determined in the market. So market, price determination and trade-offs are the three major themes in microeconomics.